actually been opened before and it's got a Budweiser lid on it. Just saying. Um, anyway, we're uh, we're going to have a quick look at my fridge and then we're going to have a look at Jim's fridge because his is a lot more broken than mine. The problem I've got with mine is one of the hinges is broken, um, which is a bit of, a bit of a problem. Um, pretty much a simple change. I'll take that off you, Jim. Okay. Just quickly show you underneath. If you can see, there's the hinge. Slightly cracked where the, uh, can't see my finger. See the crack along there where the screw goes in. Just beside it and on the inside, it's there. Totally and utterly naff. So what I'm gonna do is give this back to Jimbo. I'll just take these two screws out. Funny enough, I've got to do the same to mine. I think we're probably going to be a little bit more involved with yours. Freezer box is mine, but that's just waiting for parts at the minute. Oh, there we go. There goes the snap. There it is. It's the hinges. That one's all right. That one, as you can see, is totally shot. Can you see the break there? Yeah, exactly where mine's yeah. gone. Yeah. It will hang on. It'll hang on for a long time, but it leaves a gap around the freezer box. Um, which is still caravan moving next to us. Yeah, got it done after I've slowed that geezer. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is they're not very strong, these hinges, anyway. So, if you have a tendency to put bags of ice in the freezer box and when it's not in there properly, and then push the door to push the ice in, that's generally the result of things like that. Yeah. Um, a couple of screws here. Java these days, when you're operating with ice, it generally is for one thing, and it's gin, it's gin and or vodka. vodka, so you're basically yeah. drinking. So you do tend to lose a little bit of your um, senses, shall we say. <laughs> it looks like these have been replaced before, because this one's still in the packet. I would have thought so. It might have been replaced twice already as well. Yeah. Not the greatest design. Right. I bought a couple of these, eBay, best place. But don't just take eBay as, uh, as everywhere to get them, because sometimes, if you look around, you can actually buy them cheaper from other places. Do you know what you pay for those? It's worth a check. I can tell you exactly. I think that was about 13 quid. So for two or quid. one? For two. No, apparently I paid a lot more from them than that. No, that's got to be wrong. I think that was about 15 quid for the pair, to be honest. They weren't, they weren't dear. Yeah. I mean, it's much better if you don't break them, then you don't have to change them, but, you know, really simple job. Don't tighten these up really tight. Whenever you're doing anything in these, on the caravans, really, if you tighten in a metal, anything metal that's going into plastic, don't tighten it. I know most people say, well, it's obvious, but to some people it ain't obvious. And if you tighten it up too much, you're just going to crack it. You don't want that now, lad. Could realistically leave that one on, but there's a lot more tension in that. But I will keep this one just as a spare for when she breaks the next one. Uh, when the next one gets broken. You didn't have accidents happen. Correct, accidents do day. happen, Dan. Yeah. Quite a lot. Quite a lot. Mm. When there's gin involved. And when there's gin. Right, so that can be my spare. Just in case. Fit another caravan behind it. That's that. There is water running out of that onto my groin. So it looks like I've got a wet penny. Nice. It's always worth a wet penny. This does need a good clean. I had a few wet paddies when we was in Spain once. It does happen. Especially at our age, lad. Yes. To be fair. This needs a really good clean because it's uh, it gets thoroughly cleaned. 
after uh, every season, but seeing as we've still got another few bits and bobs to do yet, I'll wait. As you can hear, our neighbours are having a little doodah. And there's no order involved. And there's no order. You don't know what they've been doing the weekend, though, do you? Cow running? No. Oh. See, the other thing I want to do in this fridge at some point, which I've realised I haven't done yet, I haven't LED'd it. No, I haven't actually, have right. Just pretty much doing the reverse. The trip is gone. What I've done a minute ago. Just the one screw underneath on each end. Like no Jamie. Like a dream. Perfect. Jobs are good. That one does look slightly. Uh, there's not really nothing on it. It's got a little bit of play, but then I think they're meant to have anyway. Yeah. Exactly how it should be. Shelf back in. Clips. 